Hello everyone and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today's plugin we're going to go over is the Auto Tile plugin. This was another official plugin that was made by the developers of Pixel Game Maker and its purpose is to make mapping a little easier as well as to add some animation for say water tiles or lava tiles and so on. And in this video we'll go over how to install the plugin, how to use it, and then last how to custom edit the tile sets so that you can make your own auto tiles. And with that said, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna begin in the plugins tab where we're gonna right click and add an official plugin. We're going to select the very top one, which is the auto tile plugin. Now it says in parentheses here, RPG Maker MV, and it also says right here that only when the tile size of the project setting is 48 by 48. Now this isn't the case. You can actually use it for any tile size. It actually auto adjusts. You just have to make sure that you're using the RPG Maker MV format as far as auto tile goes. Now we will get into that here in a second, but for now we're just adding the plugin. So we're going to click OK, and here's your plugin. So here's the preview, which is settings that we do not have to set, just settings that we will see when we're setting up. And you'll see that we have a World A1, a World A2, and an Outside A4. All right. Now we'll dive into all these options. Uh, in the help file, it says exactly what it said in the description of the plugin. And there's no parameters to set. Remember, the parameters are things you have to set to get started. And now that the plugin is installed, we can start adding our tiles. So we'll go to the resource tab, and under images, we'll add some images. And I'm going to select two tile sets that we'll be using, A1 and A2. Uh, these are the Time Fantasy tile sets. They are size 48 by 48. But again, you don't need 48 by 48. You just have to make sure they're in this format. You can kind of see how they're structured. Basically, if you can uh, take this uh, brown uh, gr ground here, this whole section right here would be one auto tile. All right. So then that this uh, more cron concrete looking ground would be one auto tile. The sand would be one auto tile. And the same with this grass right here. This would be one auto tile. So you can kind of see the structure. Now, if you're wanting a example and say you don't have any RPG Maker assets, you can actually get them by, I'm going to close this project here. You can go to the sample project and you can scroll down to the plugin project here. Now, I'm just going to name this, well, I'll just leave it project one. And I'm going to click on the sample project. It's going to load up, which by the way, already has the auto tile example and plugin installed and all this other stuff and if you go to their resources here under auto tile you can get an example of these okay so now say you wanted to open them up and and start making your own you could just go to file open project here you'll get this folder right here and then you'll go to images you can go to the uh, auto tiles and you can just open it up in your editor and you'll start to be able to edit and move around the stuff. You just have to make sure that you're staying within the auto tile and you're, you're formatting it the same as it has, meaning that your ground that is going to go underneath is kind of right here. And then the ground that is going to be the border is has the, the proper bordering. Sometimes it has edges on the side. Um, and these would be transparent. So if you just wanted it to go over a uh, any kind of thing and, and look okay. So yeah, just follow the format and you, and you shouldn't go wrong. And with that said, I'm going to exit out of here, go back to the auto tiles that we're going to use. And when you're adding a tile set, you don't have to set any partitions or anything. And so now we can start to add our tile sets. So we're going to go to the tiles tab. We're going to add a tile, call it A1. We're going to select auto tile option. We're going to select from the plugin, and then we're going to say A1. And you can, uh, when you drop this down, you can see that there's other options here. A1 is going to be your animated auto tiles, so like your water, lava, stuff like that. And then A2 is going to be your static tile auto tiles, so like your grounds or the holes that you saw or some bushes if you had any that were auto tiled. So the A1 is going to be the animated, so we're going to select the A1, which is our water. And I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to add another tile set, call this A2. 
click auto tile from the plugin and then we're going to select a2 and then we'll select the a2 image and then that should all be set now if we look at these we can see that they're definitely not as many tiles as we have in our resources both in the a1 and the a2 so let's real quick dive into that uh, let's go back to our resources here and you can remember when i was talking about how it partitioned uh, this this whole section you can see that it's actually combining it in, into one so this is the the ground with the lighter grass this is the ground with the darker grass this is the sand with the the yellow grass so we can see that it's taking this and putting it into one tile taking this and putting it into one tile taking this and putting it to one tile and so the a2 you can see that it just goes horizontally in the same order that it is right here so that's how the A2 is working. The A1 is a little different. You can see that there's very fewer tiles. And in the resources here, there's quite a bit of tiles. Now, the A1, since it's animated, it actually has to use all three of these, okay? Because each one is an auto tile, right? But since we want them animated, each one is going to be a little different than the other frames. So that way it can animate it all right so when we are looking at this one tile it's actually these three sections combined so then these three sections would be the next one which is this darker grass border and then so on and so on so that is how the a1s work structure wise and how the a2s work all right so now that we have the tiles added we can actually start adding them to our scenes so we're going to click on Scenes tab, go to our map here, and we're going to add some tiles. We're going to add the A1 and the A2, and then we'll click OK. And that brings up all the tile sets. You can minimize them as you need. I'm going to grab, let's do the, the grass here. Let's do the dark grass. And I'm going to use the Fill tool. I'm going to fill in the grass here. And then I'm going to use the Single Placement tool. And we'll start to add some stuff. Let's add some, some concrete. And you can see that as I'm dragging it, it's auto updating and it is uh, doing it in accordance with the, the resource. And now let's add some water. So this water again is going to be our A1 and then these uh, this concrete is gonna be our A2. So now when we click play test here, we can see that we have some water that is animating and we also have some grass with the uh, proper auto tiles that we wanted all right now there is some issue that some people have and that is that the auto tile the a1 won't animate on their first attempt and so there is a fix for that so if you are having that issue you can go to the tiles here and you can right click on the a1 tile set that you've set go to tile settings change it to an a2 and click OK. And you might have to play test, you might not, but if not, you can just go back to tile set and change it back to A1. Now, for some reason, when you make that little switch, it will actually trigger it as an A1 again, and then you will be able to have the animated auto tiles like you're seeing on, on my screen. Now, there's one last tile set type to go over, and that is the A4. Now, the A4 tiles are like your wall tiles, your kind of your wall and wall tops, all right, in RPG Maker. So there's an option for that as well with this plugin. Now I've already added the resource, and you can see that each section or each wall type has these tiles. And instead of being this being one whole section for these wall tiles, it's actually a little bit different. It's actually this section of the top portion of the wall is one section and then this section of the actual wall is another section okay so for for each wall color and and type there's two sections of auto tiles going on and we can see that i've actually added it also in here and if you were curious all i did was i made sure that when i selected the a4 i just selected this option the outside A4 option. This particular one is actually an inside. I'm using the inside walls, but they, they both work. 
All right, so you can see here what I mean that there's actually two different tile sets for this. There's the top portion and then there's the wall. So if you are to go and edit, just make sure that you do remember this is one section of it and this is the other section of it. All right, so now in the scene, I have also added this to the scene. And now we can start adding these, these walls here. So I'm going to just add some, some walls and you can see that it's auto adjusting according to there. And now we'll do the, or sorry, that's the top of the walls, yep. And then I'll do the walls and you'll see that the walls are actually auto adjusting as I go even here. So you can see one section's even different than if I have two sections. All right, so now if we play test here, we can see that it showed up pretty nice. Uh, remember to give restrictions. So on your tile set here, your walls, actually both of them most likely, you'll want walls on all of them. And so if you play tested, you can't walk through it and everything works good. That's how you would do A1s, A2s, A4s, and we went into how, t how you would edit them and all that other stuff. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, really useful plugin. Again, it says 48 by 48 only, but you can actually use it on other sizes as long as you follow the RPG Maker MV format. If you are getting stuck on how to edit tiles to match the RPG Maker format, you can just throw RPG Maker MV auto tile format in a Google search and you'll pop up with some videos and some articles and forum posts and stuff like that. So with that said, I'll see you at the next video.